my eyes and I went in with my Urban Decay primer potion and this is the anti-aging one and I set my primer with macchiato from the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and this is the medium to tan one. We're gonna go in with the transition shade and as always I'm gonna go in to Espresso, dip my brush right into there and provide a smooth transition for my crease. <laughs> Somebody asked me to do a peachy summery eye, so I'll try my best to deliver that today. Next, I'm going to go into the crease and I'm going to use my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to go in with this shade. I'm going to go into the shade Pookie, which looks like this. very mustardy color and I'm gonna start building the crease with that. After that I'm gonna take the one right below it. It's called Roxanne. It looks like that. I 
it doesn't come back pigmented, then we're gonna have a problem. Okay, never mind. It shows up true to color now. But I'm gonna go in with my Cover FX Custom Enhanced Drops in the shade Candlelight and just put a drop on every part of my face. So drop here, drop here, drop here, here. Next one on my lip, of course. I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques angled brush and just pop this into the skin Jason leading us and love is all we'll ever trust yeah no I don't want to waste what's left now that you look like a tender man oh I forgot about I forgot about mascara right. I'm gonna be using Laura Geller drama lash mascara and you guys know this has been my favorite Just coat your lashes with how many coats, how luminous you want it to be. You do you, boo. You do you. I know I look funny, but it's okay. Now that our lashes are coated, we're gonna go in with foundation. And foundation today is Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And this is gonna be in the shade 335 Classic Tan. I'm gonna just square two drops. Or I'm gonna square two pumps. And on the same brush that you applied your cover effect drop, just buff it into the skin. Maybe I'm going with 
with the highlighting powder after I bake. So I'm gonna take my RCMA no color powder. My complexion sponge, my real techniques, and just go on it. And just set the places that you crease, and you get the most oily. Now, I normally don't do brows, but uh, they need some TLC right now. So I'm going to go into the real techniques brow brush has an angled tip and I don't have any well I do have brow products but I don't use them at all I tried but I feel like I'm happy and content with the way my brows look just when I haven't gotten them done in a long, long time I fill them in a bit not a lot so I'm gonna go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills artist palette this palette is discontinued I think or no, I think it was limited edition and it sold out. I'm gonna go into the shade Coal, which is this black color. And I'm gonna just fill my eyebrows up. A bit, not a lot. with the shape you have you can set them in place I'm gonna set mine with a mascara this is the NYC Skyrise mascara I think that's what it's called this works as well as a brow gel this is what the applicator looks like and I'm just gonna set them in place satisfied with the way my brows look we're gonna dust off this bake with our fluffy powder brush and with the same powder brush we're gonna go back into our contour kit and I'm gonna go into the shade peaches and cream which looks like this a very light color it's definitely my highlight and just dust over the parts you want to highlight I'm not going for a really highlighted look today just want something to brighten up my skin before I go on with bronzer I'm gonna contour with my with my next Cheek Contour Dual Palette in the shade Wine and Dine. I know you guys have seen this a lot, but it's amazing, guys. It's, it's amazing. And I'm going to go into this contour brush. I bought this off of Amazon. I wanted something that chiseled my cheeks, and it's been working. So. Mine is so beat up, I really need to get a new one. Just blend. The other side. Also, when I think of summery, I think of bronzy because that's when most of us get very tan. So that's why I'm using both contour and bronzer to the max today. 
And also I'll be using highlighter because we think of the glowiness and us getting sweaty since it's so hot. So I'll be using a very intense highlight today. For highlight, I'm going to go back into my BH Cosmetics palette. It looks like so. And I'm going to take this shade. Well, and these don't have shades, but I'm going to take this one right here and basically highlight every point of my face because it's a more bronzy highlight. <laughs> going to the soft matte lip cream by NYX in the shade San Paolo. This is a very peachy pink color. So. Thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and i really had so much fun creating this look for you guys i hope you enjoyed it and try it out i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye